folks welcome back to the channel Doug stacking investments here uh, trying to not think oh got so much to do here I got stuff in all three boxes I uh, got stuff laid out here but I think what we're gonna do we're gonna knock this stuff out video by video and uh, while well, I got it set up do some short videos some short things and I'll show you this uh, 1892 barber half that I acquired it is a Philadelphia. Yes, I know it's in rough shape, but this is. Uh, hold on, I gotta get the page started for the fill. That is a coin going into my Dance Co. Liberty Head half dollar album, also known as the Barbers. The album number is 7150. Somebody asked about the page, the clear thing and what these pages are. Um, I guess it's a new subscriber. These are sheets that I made up because I'm setting up a trust. And I haven't got back to that because legal fees are just astronomical for these things. And uh, it's just going to take some time to get it set up. But these are pages I'm putting in all my albums and areas of my collection. <clears throat> so that it can be cataloged as part of my trust and then if something happens to me the people that have, the per, per, the people that I designate to administer the trust um, take over and make sure everybody gets everything this page coincides with the documents in my trust so I've got one in all my albums there's a couple I don't have but set up yet but I went over this page I'll do briefly again uh, album type date acquired or completed uh, who the beneficiary is supposed to be these are just pages I put in to get started I've already talked to Daniel did a video on this at coin help you if the beneficiary decides they'd rather have the cash instead of the collection then I've got all of Daniel's information. I've already talked to him and about this. So if something happens to me and then the administrators of my trust contact the beneficiary and the beneficiary says, well, I just want to sell it. I want the cash. Then they know to contact Daniel Malone and give him first crack at buying whatever it is. <clears throat> whichever album it is hopefully they will want to keep it and either finish it out collect it expand on it or whatever but uh, the younger generations now and I see at my LCS that the uh, grandparents or the parents are bringing stuff in and selling it because the kids have no desire for it and it's actually a shame because that's part of what's dragging down you hear the uh, all the talk about the generational wealth gap and all that but <clears throat> the younger generation you are to blame for this because you are not collecting things like this well not all but a majority that are complaining and whining and everything you're not collecting things like this you're taking the cash and you're buying superficial throwaway garbage now you're you know you're spending the money you gotta have the fancy car you gotta have the fancy house you gotta have the fancy this the fancy that <clears throat> and to those they're not doing stuff like this for wealth to be passed down they're just taking the money and blowing it but anyways let's get off of that subject we got an 1892 Philadelphia it is one I need fortunate enough to find that and we're gonna put her in her spot and that's one more down I need a 92 O a 92 S <clears throat> I need a 93 S I need a 95 S and I need a 97 S to complete this so where are we down two three four five I need five more to finish out the collection and 
nah. I think I showed the last time I did, I think I did the 93 all spot in the last video I did on this album and I showed it and Strober struck, uh, he responded that he was surprised I still had this in the album. And just so you know, so we're struck. I think I replied in a comment, if I ever decide to sell this collection before something happens to me, I will replace that coin or I will pull that out and that goes in my, my keeper collection if I decide to sell this. If something happens to me before then, you know, I have no idea, but for now, your coin stays in the slot. Go back to the third page. Got all the date and marks, five away. I know there's some out there that wouldn't touch these coins in a collection, but the Barber series is a collection I could care less about condition. I'm more interested in getting the date and the mint mark. And all the way up to the 15S. And there it is. I'm down to just working on the last five on the first page. So the collection is coming along really good. Uh, let me know down below. Are you collecting the Barbers? The Barbers? Are you just stacking them? Are you doing a collection? Uh, what are you doing? Let me know. And I will see you on another video.